let's go just do the shorts let's let's uh you know okay because i'm my my memory has been um has turned to paste over some of these. So Don't worry, I have the details. I, will, I will refresh your memory. If you, if you run through them, I can because kind of I like, have... I'll see if anything, any neurons fire. So about we watched them in one, one kind of long clump. So we, we got a bit, um, uh, I got a bit plastered, somewhat more plastered than we are now. Mm. Um, and uh, watched uh, on the viewing library, delegates, important delegates like us who've paid our 52 pounds, uh, mm. have access to an online library of mostly short films, but some features, including the Brayout, weirdly, even though it's quite high-profile release, yep. in my opinion, although it might not get distribution. I'm not sure about that. Um, but they have a lot of shorts that are being shown as part of the London Film Festival. The majority of these shorts that we watched were British, and the vast majority of them were funded by BFI Network, which is yes. basically the only way you can get funding in the UK to make a short. And the only way you can really like state institutional yeah, funding and the only way yeah, yeah and yeah. the only way you but it's the, this vfi are the gatekeepers for all almost mm. all that funding and the only way to make a feature obviously is if you have some kind of track record as a short filmmaker or as i'm fond of saying you know a good british film is only made when someone of very eccentric receives a significant inheritance <laughs> um park that though uh the shorts let's talk about the shorts let's talk about what the bfi believes are the cutting edge of uh grassroots, homegrown uh, filmmaking talent. We have Mother of Mine. I'm not going to remember the directors of any of these films. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, Mother of Mine, which is a film starring Robert Webb about a man yes. whose wife dies and then he decides to not tell his daughter. Yep. And there are lots of various pale, desaturated shots of it's him It's extremely bad. miserable. So it's like a kind of creme caramel of a film. So it's, it sort of looks like Yunnan's sofa from the 70s. It's... Um, I found this, yeah, I mean, it, it was pulling a lever, which is uh, miserabilism. It's a shot in this kind of like the house he's in is this kind of miserable London semi detached. He's got it's this. Jez kind of, from Peep Show. Jez. With less hair. Looking Much less permanently hair. depressed. And looking like kind of gaunt and a bit faded because the yeah, whole yeah. film is kind of gaunt and faded. And of course, he's just lost his wife. So, yeah, sure, he should be sad. But, yeah. like, it's an insanely yep. manipulative film mm. that gives you no depth or insight into, like, what the characters are actually the feeling. The real process of, 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 of grieving, which I don't know what it is, but I think there's lots of things where we have these cutaways to items that she you oh, know, yeah she received a boohoo like, package that she yeah. ordered that it, obviously she's boo-hoo dead indeed, she's dead. Um, indeed yeah. yeah but we get a photo of like a hairbrush with some of her hair on it and like i mean like a bathroom items in the in the, in the toilet or whatever and stuff like that and it's like he the camera suddenly switches and gives us these kind of like um item shots of these things and yeah and, and no doubt objects track his eye yeah objects are objects kind of are important in storytelling force. but yeah. it's just so pat and so it's so formulaic Chekhov's boohoo package exactly yeah <laughs> but there's um <laughs> let's move on yeah um there's a film called the walk which stars a deal actor who was a uh, in four lions he was on four lions yeah. he played probably the least well-equipped terrorist in Four Lions, Fessel. Um, uh, this is a film about a man. <laughs> this almost sounds like a joke, the synopsis of this film. Uh, a man who has to walk 24 miles a day to get to the job centre. Um, Which I, for all, for all the faults of the Conservative administration, I can't imagine that is true miles. in any... This is crazy. Yeah. Um, and uh, anyway, as you'd expect, it's a very, again, like Mother of Mine, it's a very um, low-energy, um, miserableist affair it is shot in a slightly more exciting way the editing way. is a bit more jumpy because it's trying yeah, to because this guy's got yeah. like schizophrenia or something so it's trying to represent the interiority of a character who's, lots of who's going through some sort of form of psychosis but it has a lot of it does is it in a really? so, or is, are they yeah so it does it in a sort of there's a sort of like i'm so crazy it's like it's this sort of joker pilled attempt to represent yeah and he psychosis. does kind of lose it at the end yeah. um but yeah um, it's 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 again very manipulative mean. Uh, yeah. making some kind of pathetic, impotent protest at the Conservative government, um, using the money raised by the government, um, <laughs> which that would Master's be... Master's tools. Which would be okay. fine, I guess, yeah. if you... But it just doesn't even say anything interesting. I, I, no, I don't want no. my... I don't want films in this country to be propaganda. I particularly don't want them to be very, very bad propaganda, which is what, but it, what it, this it's, is. It's saying something that we know is true that you know it sucks to a have like severe mental health problems and it's bad to have to walk in theory 24 miles to go to a job yes. center which might um 
you know, sort of slap you over the wrist for I would Mr. Walk 24. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was in my head. Just to um, be at the job Yeah. And, and obviously at the job center, he gets completely parred off and ignored. And, you know, yeah, it's yeah, just, yeah, yeah. it's like condensed Ken Loach, Daniel Blake bullshit. Yes, exactly. Strangers. The kitchen, it's the kitchen sink, the sort of kitchen sink representing itself again twice. So we've had two, two yeah. kitchen sinks already. We're all in. Well, get yeah. ready for more. Mm. This one, Strangers, should sort of be seen slightly on its own because it was not funded by the BFI. No, it, it was, was independently presumed, funded. Independently was funded. Uh, I don't imagine it costs very much. Uh, it has quite an arresting opening shot of a sort of dog and then a dog walker entering a field that has electricity pylons, pylons in it. Yeah. Um, uh, so but we are going good. to launch a bit of a pylon onto this film, I'm afraid, because the acting was quite bad. Um, very wooden. The concept of mm. uh, her, her walking a dog and the guy, he hasn't lost his, he's lost his dog and then he tells this sort of story about... Um, Do you believe me? Do you think I'm German? telling this truth? Uh, so maybe it's yeah. Brexit related. He's actually no? Romanian. <laughs> Brexit, <laughs> he's Romanian, um, okay. But he, he's um, very German coded, I would say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, he's giving German. Mm. Um, but his, his dog, he's lost his dog and then he tells, tells a story about finding the, the corpse, a corpse of a, of a young of boy, young, young boy in the field. Murdered, yeah. uh, it it didn't impress upon us what the hell it was meant to say or do. It after the first shot that I quite liked, it became visually very boring. Shot reverse. And it was shot. also kind of like in this really kind of over like this 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 uh, really like high contrast grayish color that then had this vignette effect around. Yeah, it almost seemed like field. an error or something. Oh, there was one wide yeah. shot that was clearly just there because they hadn't picked up the dialogue properly. So they just had like this, this like whenever they did, whenever they presumably didn't have a decent enough shot nearer to the actors, they just had this wide shot where you couldn't see what they were saying. Mm. That was just, and then they just played the dialogue. <laughs> Boring. It was, it rubbish. was, it was really bad. It, it felt like this kind of almost this riddle me this yeah. film in a way. It's just like, here's like an ethical conundrum. It's like, I don't understand. It was w very woodenly written. So from um, the very small, bearing in mind these BF, most of these mm. are BFI funded that they're selecting for the BFI London Film Festival. Mm. Um, it's fair to say these BFI funded films won't really get shown anywhere else. So they kind of have to be shown at the London Film Festival. Yeah. So that leaves a very small amount of space for British films that aren't BFI funded in the shorts program. Uh, and uh, they've chosen quite a bad film. So that's a shame. Um, oh. There must be, I know there are better short films being made every year than this film. Um, Area Boy, which is about uh, a bunch of young young black kids in London, I believe. Um, oh. And there's a sort of uh, a kind of... Out, uh, out Religious conversion narrative... No, I think that's is it, a different is that? film. No, it's an outcast. There's so many of these films. <laughs> there's, um, a, there's a guy who's um, a bit of an outcast uh, who sort of doesn't seem to fit in. Various scenes of him trying to kind of ingratiate himself on this general crowd of, yeah, of, of he's, area he's, boys. And he's he's um, super religious. He's kind of like, or, or he's in, a, he, like he's a, a part of a church. Oh, yes. And he's about to yeah, have yeah, his, yeah. his baptism. Oh, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, because the end yeah. scene of the baptism. But more importantly, it's suddenly halfway through, you realise he likes putting lipstick on. So mm. there's a trans narrative there. Um, so, yeah, so it's it, it doesn't really... It makes the film. It, it basically that. makes the film subservient to the kind of identity politics, uh, and I'm trying not trying to get over Lawrence Fox here, but it makes the film subservient to its. God forbid. Receipt, yeah, God forbid, of course, but it like makes the film subservient to sat satisfying um, or servicing like a particular ideological framework. Um, yes, and we, we, we it, so making it not a film it is not a film. It is again, you know, as it were, propaganda or like a, on a different on a different yeah. range. I think. Yeah, and then right at the end, one of the one of the kids sort of tells him that, you know, tells him in a very roundabout way that mm. it doesn't matter if he wants to experiment or something. Um, so you're sort of you're the, the the plot basically hinges on whether this community of black guys are going to accept, accept this young this guy. guy who and has, the more interesting part is maybe people wouldn't be that understanding, but because the film has to be palatable, of course his mate has to actually you know going from position of being really oppositional to him suddenly relate to him and you know be be really understanding so yeah. you know be really understanding you know sort of again it's servicing a particular kind of i suppose liberal fantasy of of like oh know, they're, they're good after this all, rules, this you kind know. of so you're told, you're, of yeah that's the twist know. the twist is like mm. you know you don't you know you don't have to be racist because actually they they <laughs> they they are they're not homophobic yeah uh, <laughs> <laughs> after all very just just pathetic um yeah. anyone who actually knows about politics would just see this and laugh. Like it's, mm. it's it's like people who don't know anything about politics attempting to do politics because now everything has to be political, um, political and palatable and palatable. Mm. Yes, and sort of Stop. making you making you think. Um, most pe filmmakers you meet, 
like or most people in the industry you meet think these sorts of films are bad but they just keep being made because of some kind of strange bureaucratic um uh blockage i, I would assume i don't know yeah clearly someone thinks they're clever uh essex girls uh which is uh about a young black girl in a in about 10 years ago everyone's got blackberries in school oh. um and she normally hangs out with these white girls in Essex, where the school is. And the white girls are sort of asking her if she's going to go to the party tonight. And she's like, oh, I'm not sure. And they're like, oh, Mark really likes you. Oh, I'm not sure. I don't know if he's called Mark. But anyway, there's a guy that she doesn't think that this guy, this white guy likes him because she's black. Then uh, during an incident of extreme racism from the geography, the balding geography teacher. Very pointed, um, uh, over-exaggerated racism. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, where I, you lot are from is pretty much yeah, what he yeah, says. He says, feels... he's like, explains, like, so basically the kid, none of the kids are really paying much attention. And then he says, uh, uh, we're talking about migration, which is why you lot came over here. <laughs> yeah, like, who knows what migration is? Um, um, so yes, the white working yeah. class don't get a good, good uh, rap in this. But um yeah, so it's just a, it's just, a, and then, it's and then fish out of these two, classic, these two, water, these two, yeah, there's a fish out of well, mm. animal, these two black girls sort of both call this out, call, both notice this uh, form of racism. The teacher both stick up for themselves and are punished for it. And in their moment of punishment, the detention or whatever, they then bond. And uh, at the last minute, she's supposed to go out with the white people on a Friday night. She decides to go to London with the, her black friend and meets loads of a, a party full of black people. And uh, there's a very handsome black guy who uh, seduces her. Then they change her hairstyle and she like loves her new hairstyle. And then like the next... Even though she's a literal schoolgirl, can we point out that that little bit of narrative? He looks like a strapping young man. Is age, there a, gap, discourse, age gap, discourse, discourse, discourse on discourse here. Do you know, because um, you, you can't, you've got to be but it absolutely... Doesn't problem, it doesn't problematize that. No. I mean, this, you know, this is, I suppose these are not films again these are exercises in satisfying a particular kind of expression exactly. of the liberal imagination uh, nothing more than that absolutely um, there was very little particularly with that film like area boy though it was competently like the cinematography was quite competent and you know it was you know it was it was a solidly shot like a good quality sort of you know bbc drama or something mm -hmm. maybe better than that um whereas essex girls was shot very indifferently i think what most upset yeah. me about um essex girl was just the fact that it's its central premise was like stick to your own. Its central premise it's was like yeah, like yeah, like, yeah. like you'll never be understood by someone of a different race. So you should just. Um, uh, I, I don't think I'm being too extreme in saying that that was obviously people of different experiences. That was a takeaway. Yeah, that obviously film, people yeah. of different experiences are going to bond. You know, going to have different things to bond over. But it it, it was certain maybe just because it was a short film. I don't know, uh, but it 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 didn't explore any other complexities or contradictions in the bonding mm. it was just very basically like she should be hanging out with with her, her own with, with people who yeah. look like her or who have experienced racism in the same way that she has mm. uh, so and again and you know it's it, you know it's not um not really a learning experience for anyone and not it's really not, film. not really suggest it's just not film no it's not film it's not filmy this is this thing we often talk about and we often the, invoke the, the the nature of it. it's like truthiness this is filminess and there is a certain filminess to film which is something that uses tells a story by sort of bootstrapping narrative and and uh, the formal qualities of film together you know the, the best films do that they mm -hmm. that's they are a visual medium this is exactly. where someone like Shlovsky is really incorrect because Shlovsky was like you know he said that film had superseded literature mm -hmm. by you know basically doing literature better and it's like, that's not true at all it's a very distinct unique yeah. medium that exists in its own right um i think it's frustrating to see i suppose funding is a bit of fruit here i suppose but uh, we're seeing you know funding go towards films that seem at most indifferent about it. it's just a story that happens to be caught on camera yeah um, and that's not a film that is not a film you know that is just a story that is just a you know an ideological point if these films took kind of I suppose more daring, formal. You know how how can you tell a story? How do you know it's really basic media study stuff? Mm. You know how do you communicate a character's isolation or alienation? Mm. Maybe shoot them from a you know a wider distance. You know maybe frame it differently. Maybe take different formal strategies to approach mm. that story. But none of that is just shot like any old. They're shot like yeah, any old. None of that is Netflix really noticeable. Drama. When yeah. when they do do something unusual, it's it's usually very uh, traditional uh, yeah. in terms of the mise en scène. Um, two more horrendous short <laughs> films to discuss more. I can't even remember them uh, yeah. South South uh, South Facing which is about uh, a young black girl in London whose mother's uh, a rice and peas Car Caribbean food um, 
business uh, was shut down because of a trendy uh, flat oh, white so third wave coffee place yeah, yeah, yeah. and she decides to and this the person running the, th- uh, the third wave sort of like forced her out of business with lots and of she's a bit of a bitch and so she's a bit of know, a bitch as a confrontation yeah. as a confrontation she pretend her and her boyfriend pretend to be documentary makers and interview this horrible white woman who's just a total bitch and confront her on her being a total bitch and then she's kind of a bitch to them yeah. uh, and then they go home to uh, uh, her mu- um, the protagonist's mum who is um, just extremely generous about the whole thing and says you, this isn't the way to you know thank you it's but just this a moral lesson it's just, you know, um, so once again there are good people and there are bad people and we won't learn anything else about them huh? uh, and that yeah, yeah know, very binary it's extremely binary that goodness yeah. and badness uh, the, the way it's arranged will satisfy mm-hmm. It was well acted. I thought that was well acted. That film, actually, in fairness to it. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, it was, was two it was kids were like acted. really good in that film. But and then the last film, which mm. I'm proud to say. Why am I proud to say it? <laughs> proud to say it. <laughs> it was the worst. Are, are, we, are we counting this amongst? Uh, are we talking about? Ah, oh, huh. we're talking about. No, no, no. We're talking about the singer. You forgot about the singer, the Glaswegian busker film. Oh my with the god! Deaf guy. Yes. <laughs> this is so incredible. <laughs> okay, yeah. um, I feel like this, so there's something about the singer. So this was actually funded by um, Screen uh, Scotland, S- right? Screen Scotch Egg, or whatever it is. Yeah, like yeah. The, the, the BFI short circuit. Equipment, short yeah. circuit. That's it. The, the Scottish equivalent of the BFI. The Scottish equivalent of the BFI. Um, Quite dark. Should we get a light on? Yeah. We talking about we we're talking earlier about over, the problems of overexposure. Now we're talking about problems of underexposing a, a scene. Here we go. That's better. Um, so the <laughs> Basically, the, 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 the kindest thing I can say about mm. this is it would have made a great Vodafone advert. You know, these kind of, yeah. again, very together. Connection. Is connection, yeah. you know. Um, it's about a sort of slightly mopey, sad boy busker. Yeah. And a in, deaf, Glas- in Glasgow, and a, uh, which is bad enough. You know, he's sad, but he's also in Glasgow. Um, and there's also a deaf guy who loves music and they connect mm. over music. And there's a kind of you know this this deaf guy's a bit you know kind of strange and uh he's a bit of a weirdo right yeah it starts and off with connect. it starts off with the busker um being uh Stop, uh, robbed actually he's robbed in the street yes good um <laughs> because his, his music is awful and dis- and horrible to listen to that doesn't mean he deserves to be robbed but um no. it was very bad music uh, and someone <laughs> plays a cruel trick on him and then uh, the deaf guy uh, tries to sort of intervene, is misunderstood as uh, also being part of the mob, and then they kind of form this unlikely bond. Mm. And obviously, he expresses his love for the music in a different kind of way than someone who has perfect hearing. Um, uh, but it just bangs on and on and on for 19 minutes uh, in the most in the most ugly way. I mean, you can just see like loads of adverts in the background of the shots. It just has no mm. sense of like isolating things to look ni- nicer. No, the, 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 the blocking, um, the, the actual composition and blocking is so, so indifferent. So horrible and um, ugly. Um, the characters are just, are just, um, you know, they are being pitied in the, in the form of the film that they are the subject of pity, not um, uh, intrigue. Mm. Um, yeah, there's no, there's no real else did I hate about, about this? Them. I think there was, was something just pathetic. The, the, the actual music itself that they bond over was terrible. Like his, this, yeah. these, these drawly, it's like the kind of music they play in a Starbucks at Christmas. Like yeah. these songs that they're kind of uniting over. Um, it was, they go home to the deaf guy's flat. Yes. And end up like bonding over, he can feel the reverberations of the music through his yeah, feet. Yeah. The but they don't floor, even like have gay sex. They don't even have like a... It does set it up for There's that, not even it? a romantic, there's a suggestion yeah. of a romantic connection, but it doesn't even... No, it's just friendship. They just sort of like hang out and, and like console and each then, other somehow. But then he, and then he like leaves uh, in, the in, in the morning before he... Because he's woken up in some up. strange guy's flat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's got fuck out here. And then like they um, do it, and then he's like a bit awkward when the deaf guy returns, but then they do this like duet and they're like friends again. I mean, who is what? I, who is watching these films and thinking, especially this film, which was particularly mm. bad? Uh, is, who is watching these films and thinking, "Oh, that's so true"? Like, mm. like who, these people have worms for brains. This film, <laughs> this film was disgusting. Mm. This film was disgustingly sentimental. It was mm. visually ugly, and 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 it, it's it told me nothing. And it looked like an advert. Well, it, it, li- it literally looked like an advert. It had, and it also had the truth content of an mm. advert. It was. It was. It was. Yeah, a had this, 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 this very commercial kind of like. It was so boiled down to it's selling its message. They end up just selling something. It was. Mm. It, it, it's selling nothing in the process because mm. it was constructed. Yeah, they like could have advert. made some money. It Vodafone like could have paid for it, and it might have <laughs> yeah. made the people involved a bit more money. I mean, yeah. Again, it was just a pure exercise. It felt like a kind of didactic 
exercise. It was very deeply didactic exercise in about understanding through difference and friendship and coming together. But again, that is not a film. Mm. You know, that's an instructional video. That's yeah. I expect that from a uh, you know, sort of local authorities video about how to take out the correct recycling bins. You know, yeah. that's what it was. That was the register of this film. And this is surely yeah, and it doesn't this is it doesn't the, work. It preaches to the converted. Anyone mm. who anyone who finds this No film one's watching could, this and going, yeah. Oh my God, actually yeah, deaf people just are people. I just realized oh I should be nice to deaf people and I mm. shouldn't like assault and rob buskers <laughs> in the street. Yeah. Thank wait, you, wait. BFI, for maybe showing the, me maybe that. Maybe the people of Scotland do need to hear this <laughs> message. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure. Um, um, yeah. Yeah. But so it, was, it was really laughable. To um, conclude, yeah, yeah, we've um, we've run the gamut of some um, pretty pretty horrendous uh, short films. And the, these films are supposed mm. to be... Uh, pick of the crop. The pick of the crop in some mm. sense. They, they have been selected, at least at the funding stage, um, uh, and it, it's a crying shame. And anyone in the film industry knows someone who's applied for this sort of money and not, uh, not, not got it. Yeah, our hands are extended. Um, and exactly like mm. the busker. And uh, busker. <laughs> and yeah, we've been mugged by the BFI. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, so yeah. So yeah. It, it it's. Uh, but that, as, as maybe uh, maybe because of the Conservative government, a, a small pot or, or whatever. But I think it's um, a small pot and an increasingly a, a, shrinking pot. A small um, and increasingly shrinking pot yeah. being increasingly poorly um, mm. uh, apportioned. 